All right, kids. Well, it is the off season. It's the middle of winter. We're back from PRI. We saw some cool stuff there, and now it's time to come home and do some race car stuff. Put this car back together. Uh, the uh, the engine's up at Lines Line Performance. Lance went through it and dynoed it, and that's ready to go back in the car. Uh, Bishop took the transmission back to Bishop's performance. He's gone through that, updated it, freshened it. That is ready to go. So. We'll go up to Grand Rapids here in a couple weeks and, and get the engine tranny back into the car. Uh, let's see, the front end was banged up a little bit. You know, it had some had some stuff that needed to be done. So Steve stocked and took that to his shop. He he fixed all the things that were wrong with the front end. That's back here in this shop, and I'll, that can go back on here anytime. Uh, the Lexan windows were getting pretty old. They were cracked, and I think each one of them had something wrong with them. So they got popped out. Uh, we will uh, cut new windows, cut them, drill them, install those here in the next few weeks. The uh, this this car was red, had sea foam on the side, and that all came off. We're gonna go with a, something different for this year. Uh, that, that we'll put that in this video. The uh, the new wrap going on, and um, the roof ended up with a couple dents in it. We uh, we had a couple good weekends where the winter circle pictures. Somehow it was a good idea to stand on the roof. And uh, we got good pictures, but we did get some dents in the roof. So I got a buddy that does some PDR. He'll come over and push those out before we, before we put the wrap on. Um, so that's coming up as well. So it's a lot to do, so let's get to work. All right, y'all, we got a little project here to work on with the radiator. Uh, so the radiator came out and I noticed, pretty easy to notice, that we had a mounting problem. We got our bracket made and I added a little bit of a foam, about a half inch piece of foam that's self-adhesive on the back so that's stuck to the bottom. So we will attach it like that and then drop that into the car. Oh, also got my new drains attached. So we'll go put this in the car. All right, well the bracket is now on the car. The radiator's in the bracket. I can mark this off the to-do list. Use the existing holes in the frame and existing spots on the radiator to hold it. And uh, yeah, I think the foam underneath, it'll be a nice dampening for it. I uh, dropped the radiator down in the slots that I put in the bracket. So it's gonna have a much better ride. So uh, this is done. All right, well, what we have here is one of the doors for the Nova and uh, We've got to kind of clean it up a little bit before it's ready for the new wrap. Um, I heard in the past a few times people thinking that a wrap is bad for a paint job or that they heard a wrap wrecked the paint job. Uh, it's not really the wrap in the paint job that's a problem, it's the clear adhering to the paint. So in this case there's a little bit of a problem with it, we're going to have to get that off before we put the new wrap on. So yeah, check this out. So obviously, we need something better for that wrapped it here to instead of the clear. Got to get it down to the paint job, so got to do the rest. All right, well last year we wanted the scoop flat black and so uh, we tried some Plasti Dip on it. And I'd never really done that before, but now it's time to pull that off. We're gonna actually paint it this time, but this Plasti Dip really, really comes off a painted surface pretty easy. I had heard that it did. We had never tried it before, but yeah, I'm a believer now. This stuff is great. Held up all year long really well, and when it comes time to come off, just stay easy. So, yeah, good stuff. Well, time for an update. The car's got some vinyl going on it. 
Got uh, the quarters. Doors are done. They're just not on. And I'm going to go ahead and start trying to throw it out on the roof. I'll show you that here in a little while. Got some NASCAR on in the background. Keep me busy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to make that there nice and flat and look awesome. So, I will... Uh, this is before. I'll give you an after. Well, just finishing up with some of the wrap stuff. We got the front end up in the air. Got some trimming and tucking to do. Try to get that finished. It's going to go up to Grand Rapids this weekend. Get the motor and tranny put in it. And we're trying to get it ready for this car show here in a couple of weeks. Uh, I think we're pretty much on track to hit the car show. That finishes up. Uh, Chuck Easy was here yesterday with RPM Graphics. And he measured up for the logos and vinyl that we're going to put on the side with uh, the Gold Lithium. We'll probably film that when he gets here to do that. So it is just about all black. And uh, the satin looks pretty good. So I will say, though, that this this satin is the worst. This is about the worst uh, material I've worked with. It is, it's not very sticky. It's been pretty difficult to get it on correctly. And so probably of all the cars I've ever done, I will say this one is probably putting up the most fight of having it come out right. So it's been challenging on this one. All right, we're at Bishop's. Got the car here. Children are helping, so we're going to... Try to get the motor in here tonight, and we should be able to get it running in the morning, huh? Sometime? Yeah, I mean, sometime, right? All right, just doing a little battery swap on Donnie's car. It's a 94 and a half. Uh, 17 and a half. What's 94? 77 pound difference. battery mock-up session with Donnie. Car looks a little different than it used to. Excited for the season, Donnie? Yeah, I can't wait. I, this is going to be a cool looking deal when we get all the stickers on and all. Different rims. Yeah. Switch it up. We're going to get after it. If you want to hang out tonight, please do. We said before, it's not like we're just, you know. Chuck from RPM Graphics showed up and we're going to put the scoop logos on. Last night we threw these on. Those are done and ready to go. What would you think about cutting that chrome, Chuck? Uh, it was interesting. It was fun to cut, but it was very expensive. So needless to say, it's a little uh, 
anxious to get a cut right the first time because I didn't want to <laughs> yeah. explain the cost if I had to redo it. Yeah, so that chrome is about, would you figure, five times more expensive than yeah, regular wrap? A six-foot piece of chrome is about 380 bucks. You don't want to have to do that twice. So anyway, it's got a cut. We said we threw that on last night before we watched some hockey, and we're getting there. We're trying to get this thing done still for the car show. Uh, we're making pretty good time. We still got a couple weeks, but there's a lot of little details to work on yet. Got it center. We used to level to center it so it's level with the ground regardless of what the car looks like. Yeah, so we didn't do this last night because we didn't have a level, but Chuck had one at the shop, so he brought it back. And a lot of heavy squeegee pressure. Firm pressure. Got to make sure go lithium is nice and straight and bubble free. He'll finish that one up. And we got this one to throw on. Yeah, you can see the laser is kind of helping us out, make it level. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We're getting there.